Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do another video today about a cheap Chinese alternative. Now you may have seen my video a little while ago on my Chinese pack. Um, I wasn't expecting much and I was actually really pleasantly surprised. Um, the reason being is the pack actually felt like it was relatively well made, it was comfy, it kind of feels like it's going to do the job and it was very, very cheap and the idea was to test out whether some of this really, really sort of cheap gear is actually any good. On that same vein, I've been back onto the, um, the, the phone app that I got the pack from, um, and I say it sort of caters for these kind of, um, you know, very cheaply made um, sort of Chinese knockoffs of either, you know, either big brands or, or kind of their own made stuff. Um, and I thought this time, let me see what I can get in terms of an axe. Now, I found the absolute cheapest axe I could find that looked like it would actually do the job. Um, and I went with this kind of, rather scary looking tomahawk style thing. Now yes it's got a big spike on the back, um, absolutely no good for anything bushcraft related, in, at least in my mind. Um, you know this is more your kind of your military style tomahawk. Um, you know you've got a few little holes in here, presumably to help lighten the head, um, but I suspect will form a, you know, a bit more of structural weakness. Um, and a very very kind of bearded pointy um, head. Now the interesting thing with this axe head is not only is it quite blunt, but how do you know what second time? It doesn't really like sitting in my stump. Um, no, we'll leave it there. Um, you know, most of my axes, all of my axes, just with the weight of the head, will stick in this stump. This thing, I mean, it's not particularly wide. Um, but you know, it's just got that kind of taper on it where it doesn't like sticking in. That's fine, I've got a great big spike on the back that will do that instead. Now, this cost me about £10. It came with a little Cordura sheath, no frills, it's fairly standard fare. Um, and that is it. It's got a um, glass reinforced nylon handle. Um, I mean, I've been bashing this about a bit recently just to get a feel for it. No wobble, you've got three big sort of hex nuts in there. Um, seems to hold it all together. I suspect this is only a partial tang, probably only comes down to about here as a guess. Um, the, the lower element of the handle does feel lighter than the top, if that makes sense. Um, but really, it was just to see whether this would be any good for someone on a real budget, doesn't want to go out and spend sort of Grant's Falls prices, or even something like Robin Wood. You know, Robin Wood does a really, really nice bushcraft axe and a carving axe at a pretty reasonable price. Um, but you know, if this is £10 is all you can afford, is it worth getting this, or do you just go down to a DIY shop and buy their cheapest hatchet? Um, Looking at this and having a play around with it, I would say it's much of a muchness, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but what I think I'll do, I'm going to move the camera a bit closer in. I've just got a little bit of off-cut of birch here, um, just to kind of prove a point more than anything. Um, and I'll show you how this performs, just splitting down some sort of kindling size firewood. Right then guys, so here it is, and what I wanted to do was show you this, because I was actually doing something very similar the other day. We had some friends around, I needed to split out some kindling for our fire pit, um, and I thought, you know, I've got this, I'll give it a try. So this is probably about, I don't know, three inches, four inches wide, deep, high, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you would have thought that an axe like this would work pretty well. And actually, do you know what? It's not too bad. It does what I want it to do. It will split down these little tiny bits into even smaller tiny bits, no problem at all. However, I would expect my axes to also be able to split something like this. Um, this is just a bit of dry season sort of pine lumber. Um, and I had problems with this kind of stuff. I'll, I'll do it now just, to, just in case it was an odd piece. But, you know, it barely went in, it's caused a bit of a split. I would expect a lot more from an axe, to be honest. You know, I mean, this is really not doing well. Give it one more try, maybe I'll try from a different angle. You know, it's, all right, you've got a knot there, we'll, we'll give it credit for that. But, you know, it's just taking off chunks. Um, let me try this on the other side, see if this will stand. You know, it's really not a very efficient axe. Yes, there's a big knot, as I say, so we'll, 
we'll forget that sort of but you know this axe i don't know it just doesn't feel very good you know if i was using this I don't know, let's say it's the zombie apocalypse. This would probably work pretty well, at least the spiky part of it. You know, this is, I mean, this is very spiky. Um, you know, it hasn't got a sharp edge on there, but this point is really, I mean, you know, that would go straight through my hand, um, you know, what have you. But it doesn't really have a practical purpose for bushcraft. Um, I was actually tempted when I ordered this to actually grind this off, just have it as just an axe. Um, but to be honest, seeing as the axe doesn't perform very well, I'm probably not going to bother this. This will maybe become like a, um, a little wall hanger in the, in the workshop here. Um, but I don't really think it's going to be particularly great for bushcraft. Right then guys, so as I say, I wanted to test out the cheapest axe I could find. Um, I mean, this is just a piece of seasoned birch and you're not carving with this. The blade is so blunt, it's not even catching a, a, a deeper angle than I would normally use. Um, and yes, I can sharpen it up and I will sharpen this up. Um, I'm going to give it a little bit of a, a going over um, just to see if it can be improved on. And you know, it's a bit like I've said in, in other videos, you know, you can get these cheap DIY store axes that are generally designed for kind of splitting kindling um, and you can reprofile them a bit, you can sharpen them up and they do work. And I think this one will as well. Um, and on that basis, I'm going to add this together with my cheap Chinese pack at some point. I've got a few other things I've ordered. Um, that I won't, I won't ruin the surprise. Um, there's a few other bits I've ordered, and what I'm trying to do is put together kind of a, for lack of a better term, a cheap Chinese copy kit. So axe, knife, saw, pack. Um, I'm not going to bother with gas burners or, or, or stoves and things like that because I've got enough of those anyway, and a couple of them are Chinese copies, and they tend tend to work quite well. Um, but what I want to do is get this kind of really budget kit together. Um, I'll let you know how much it all totals once I've got it all. Um, the problem is, is because these come from overseas, um, they can take anything from sort of two to eight weeks to arrive. You know, which if you're not in a rush, that's fine. And I'm certainly not. I'm just building this together as time goes by. Um, what are my first impressions on this kind of Axie Tomahawk thing? Not great, let's be honest. Um, it's not a bushcraft axe, and I knew that when I ordered it, but it was something that I thought I might be able to repurpose for bushcraft. Um, this, I think, will sharpen up given some work with some files and stones. This spiky thing on the back, I mean, to be honest, you know, if this doesn't work out, which I strongly suspect it won't, I may actually just turn this into a dedicated thrower, which it will do as, as it is now out of the box, um, and just have it for a bit of fun in the garden more than anything. Um, but yeah, so I hope it was useful, guys. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope you'll all join me next time. Cheers, guys.